All right, guys, very quick here before we get started with this crazy video, I want to give a quick shout out to SS Visuals. They are a sporting marketing agency that deal with digital media design, brand awareness, and also highlight videos, something that you guys always ask me for. So they've actually done work with Matt Sheldon, we all know who that is, Giannis Antetokounmpo in the NBA, and just, you know, a bunch of professional athletes all over the world. All right, so I'm just going to quickly walk you through their website. You pull up the website here, ssvisuals.ca, um, scroll down. And you'll see their services, all three of them here. And you can see just how quality their pictures are, their editing is, it's insane. So you go back up here, you go to highlight videos, learn more, scroll down, SS videos, and all the way down to the bottom, you'll see here, fill out your highlight video form. So once you click that up, put in your name, put in your email, phone number, and then the coupon code is gonna be Akio20. So once you put that coupon code down, you'll get a nice percentage off, put the message, tell them what sport you want it for, and then you send the message, and then they should contact you back, and you guys can get started right away with uh, your own highlight video. So very quickly, I wanna show you guys the difference between my old highlight video and my new one that they've made for me. So when I pull up my highlight video, as you can see, it just goes straight into the first clip and on so forth. And uh, it's not bad, obviously, I did it myself. Uh, it still got the job done. But when you go into their video that they made for me, you can see right away, just the way it opens up, the beginning of it, it shows all my stats and you know all my requirements, my height and everything. And it's just so clean and so professional. I definitely recommend checking them out and seeing what you guys think about it. But yeah, guys, make sure you check the links out in the description below. Everything's gonna be down there, discount code, their website. And uh, yeah, check out their page. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think you guys really enjoy it because I'm loving it so far. They call to see the magic happen. They got us a quick change. So we like them in face. I'll just bought a new watch. Time to make my wrist right. The zero gravity keeps elevating me. Ready for today's game? It's like uh, oh, I'm excited, bro. Excited. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice yeah. day. Good weather. Yeah. Interracial, interracial, fucking dead baby of ocean. Wow, wow, this vlogging, bro. <laughs> Ready for today's game? Let's see your new tattoo. Tattoo gang. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you pass me a stick, please? Can you pass me a stick, please? <laughs> Get right into it. It's gonna come back with like malaria or something. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I got posting. Oh, wait. Moses has always been my biggest done. inspiration. I have, right? And then you you actually this. started me on TikTok. Moses is my, my first follower on TikTok. I hope you know. You know that? And then you just let it wait. Let's follow. Really? Right now. Yeah. yeah. His name is Lazo. I should be really not very often mm. when I eat salads. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> 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 Wait, All right, now we're gonna go into my every touch analysis. So for this first clip, as you can see, I'm in right position to pick it up, drive into the middle and risky pass, kind of a hospital pass, but we switch the play and we move forward. All right, for the next clip here, ball gets switched over to the top. As a winger, it's good to stay out wide and especially in the first minute, you gotta get balls into the box, make it hard for the opposing team. So that's what I do. 
decent chance and uh, just a good way to start off. All right, this next play here, as you can see, I'm nice and wide, getting ready to make the run behind if it gets switched over. But uh, the ball kind of hangs in the air because of the wind. And I come into the middle, take a touch, find Moses first time, and then we move out and get the ball on the opposite side. So good movement. For this next play here, it's picked up out wide by Rigi. And he puts a good ball to Moses. But as you can see, I kind of just stand still. I should have made a run in behind or in front of him so I can get there first the ball. And that's a movement I need to work on as a winger as well. All right, for this next clip here, I'm going to be talking about the attacking habits as a winger. So, you know, as your fullback is driving forward, you want to stay out wide. As you can see, I'm here. And um, as soon as I get the ball, my first instinct is to go take him forward and try to get across into the box. So I do exactly that, turn him around a little bit. And the ball wasn't the best, but I still caught something. And we got a corner out of it. All right, so for this clip here, watch here as I drift out wide. And the other opposing team gets sucked into there on the middle and I create myself some space. So I get the ball and right away I want to drive forward and try to create something. So I slip Moses through. Could have been a bit heavier, but, uh, you know, we keep possession of the ball and we just we rotate around. All right. So for this one here, it's important as a winger to once you get the ball, find a quick pass. So I'm already stuck in pressure and I could have passed it down the line or to Daz in the middle. And I just held it for too long and lost possession. So it's very important to know what you're doing before you get the ball. All right, so for my first assist, Steph gets the ball off a foul, very quick play, and I'm out wide, just ready for the ball. I turn and I keep driving. Sorry about that, but I keep driving, beat two defenders, put a ball in the box again, and we score a goal. So it's just very important to attack the spaces and cross the ball in as a winger. All right, so here, Daza gets the ball, and as you can see, me and Moses, we switch. So I'm now in the middle, and he's out wide, quick rotation, and the ball goes over the top. And right away, Feds makes that run down the line. I play him down the line. Really good movement by us three and a good ball into the box. All right, so for this clip here, Moses gets the ball over the top. And right away, I have to make sure I make my run inside to occupy that space. So as I make that run inside, Moses finds me. I pick it up on my feet, beat him one-on-one, -on -one and take a nice shot off my left. But it goes off the post and rebound over the bar. So I'm lucky there. So here I have another goal scoring opportunity. As you can see, I'm out wide, hand up, just getting ready for the ball to drop in. And uh, lucky bounce into me, do everything right to hit it, and just a great save by the keeper. All right, right away here, I want to just point out my reaction. So the ball drops into Moses, and I'm just on my front foot. I know I got to turn and go down the line to create space. So I get the ball, take one touch into the box, and then I just cross it in. And Machu hits the post, unfortunately. Rigi picks up the rebound and puts it in. So that's what happens when you get numbers in the box. The goals will come. All right, so for another assist of mine, as you can see, I've dropped in the middle, so I close all the passing lanes. Very important to do as a winger. I pick up the ball from Feds, play a 1-2 in the middle with Sean. Um, very good movement by all of us rotating out. And I pick up the ball again, run down the line. Again, beat my defender, put a cross in. Moses, great run into the box and finishes it. So again, really good movements from us and we got another goal. I want to point this out as well here, my movement. As you can see, once Rigi gets the ball, I'm already making that run in front of the defender. And just a bit too high, but I could have gotten there and put it in the back of the net. See to TD Play Stadium for one final match in round number three. And for Ottawa, a chance to keep pace with Pacific atop the table. We've talked both at the pregame show for Canadian viewers as well as just at the top of the broadcast. The return of Andrew Jean Baptiste, likes of Brett Levi, is also back in the team for Phil Dos Santos. Those anchors are going to be so important for Valorant. In a moment, nearly an opportunity for Moses Dyer. Rigi setting up Moses Dyer just outside the area. Yeah, it's a, it's a good point, and I, I think where Carlos Gonzalez landed was a hybrid of two systems. In possession, it's a 3-4-3, three, three, and out of possession, a 4-4-2. Four, four, Dyer goes forward. He's taken down. It's a bump from Ingham, and wasting absolutely no time with Scott Bowman pointing to the spot. And you know Dyer's going to be taking that himself after scoring his first against Pacific late in the match. Well, the 14th minute, Moses Dyer, an opportunity to open the scoring, goes to the right and beats Nate Ingham. One of the best in the Canadian Premier League from this spot. He does it again, and it's an important early goal on the road for Valor. I'd say it would silence the Ottawa supporters, but the Boo Birds are in full volume. Bassett did well to fan out and give his fullback a bit of protection. Ray, an outswinger. John Baptiste with the header, well over the crossbar. Ingham has been busy in his opening two matches. He hasn't had 
simple clean sheets kept. He's had to make several saves in the process. Nine of them, in fact, but he's been beaten twice. Rigi, a fantastic run to the back post, and Akio plays distributor. The offense seems like it's stalling a bit for Ottawa. Same cannot be said for Valor. Akio is fired up as they've got two past Ingham today. Speo. Sissoko. Tabla. By Levi, showing off his speed, gets behind everybody. Alvin punched by Sirwa and headed clear from Daryl Fordyce. A little bit late to react that time. Acosta, Rigi. Goes at Sissoko, it falls for Dyer again. Akio inside the 18, takes the pass. Trying to open up some space. Akio off the post. Rigi skies it. It should be 3 0. for Tiso. Here comes the cross, punched off the post and in! Sirwa redirects it off the crossbar and Tiso has helped cut this lead in half. End to end we go and this match has taken on new life late in the first 45. Tough one from Sirwa. Two nil might have been a little bit harsh on Ottawa. Rea, Rigi, nice pullback. Rigi trying to open up some space, finds Dyer, holds it up, falls for Akio! Great stop from Ingham. He needed that. Into the 45th. Rea, Romeo! Gets his second opportunity, and this time he puts it in the back of the goal. Valor find a third at the stroke of halftime. <laughs> Dyer for Akio, a step on Bassett centered, a strike off the post! This kind of ball of reach, he's still there and it's four! Valor has a fourth! The wheels have completely come off for Atletico Ottawa. This front four for Valor. As Acosta, Espeo, Sissoko, and Tiso with the back, though. Both the wingers have no problem getting forward and more of a three at the back when they're trying to attack, which they'll be doing a lot of here. Akio, block strike, Dyer, it's five. It is five from Valor, and it didn't even take them five minutes to get back on the score sheet. It has been far too easy, like a hot knife through butter. And Dyer has another. That's two braces, and Ottawa right now searching for answers. There's Shaw. Tiso overlapping. Shaw finally makes that pass. Chabara got away with one there. But too lackadaisical on that. Well, comfortably ahead or Valor, and in no need, no rush to move forward. It's a lot of lateral passing in Ottawa. Yet to put the pressure on to try and break it up. Finally, Bassett comes over. Now Rea back in front for Levi's. Advantage being played for Levi's. Nice move to the middle. Brent Levi's! What a hit! After two minutes of nearly nothing from Valor, Brent Levi's goes on a solo run up the pitch. You asked for the sledgehammer earlier, Terry. I'd say that qualifies. What a remarkable goal and a meaningful one for Brett Levi's as well. Warshevsky has some heat for goal of the week, goal of the year, sorry. What a run. Dyer, step to his right, gonna try, looking for the hat trick save by Ingham. Follow up. Hit with a ton of pace and a corner one from the Winnipeggers. Every time they've crossed halfway this in the second half, Valor looked like scoring. But yeah, I think that Rocco Romeo header to make it 3-1 after that, the floodgates open. 
Both full-time whistles from Scott Bowman. An incredible offensive display from the Winnipeggers who do pick up their first victory of the season and will head back to IG. Why you be hating and peeping my moves? We don't play by the rules. Telling your story, you say it's the truth, but I see no proof. Turn on my shit, make it blow off the roof. Giving the party a boost. Have to go crazy, I'm back in the booth. Talking my shit, I got something to prove.